need Dr. Reed here. I want to share a little bit about visions. I shared on another clip a little bit about dreams, how important they are and where they come from and why God waits to her sleep to do that. But we are such a powerful cre creature, uh, a creation that he has made because we came from the inside of him and he still lives in me and I live inside of him. So he can show us visions as well. So this little clip is going to be about visions because we are what God says we are and who he says we are. Generally, there are two types of visions. I'm just reading from my book, Who Me? Prophesy. The first is internal, where you see pictures in your mind, much like a daydream. The second is an open vision, where the picture is played before you, almost like a movie. I've had very, very few of those but I've had many of the other ones, uh, the, the internal ones. I've had many of those. Both, type, both types of visions can bring warning, prophetic words, instruction, and encouragement. And that's important to know. Warning, prophetic words, and encouragement. So God is looking for a people who are looking for him all the time. One of the dreams I had that was an open vision, it was not eternal, internal, is uh, many of you have heard this when I was walking down the sidewalk to my left there was a walk and I was going straight and I looked to the left and I saw Jesus and so I looked back to my right because I was on my on a pathway going where I wanted to go and I looked back at Jesus to my left and looked at Jesus so I started walking toward Jesus and when I started walking toward Jesus he opened his arms so magnificently wide so I began to trot jog and run to him. And when I got to him, I felt like he was going to engulf me. But instead, I went into him and I was no more. And so that was a dream that told me more about how much he wants to give us the church, the ecclesia, how much we can be like him, that he we can go into him like that because we center ourselves in him because he's there, he dwells there. So that's one of the dreams that I had. God, uh, vision should be heeded and prayed over. Don't credit your imagination to all your visions. And I did write a book on imagination, but don't credit all of them to your uh, imagination for all your visions. So you have to be discerning. But take the time to seek the Lord. This is important for his meaning and purpose within the vision. In my experience, Visions can be some of the most powerful and life-changing forms of communication from God our Father today. So take heed. See things. Don't just diss them like it's nothing. Seek the Lord and ask, Lord, what is this? Because he's speaking through visions as well. God bless.